are barefoot sandals for you. Today we'll talk about the Zero Aqua Cloud Barefoot Sandals. I will talk about my experiences with them, what I think about them, and whether you should even consider getting a barefoot sandal. First and foremost, what are barefoot sandals? Barefoot sandals are basically a stripped down, no frills version of a sandal. It has no support on the footbed, there's no support on the arc, everything is flat, it basically mimics walking barefoot. There are many claims of benefits of using the barefoot sandals, like strengthening your feet, improving your balance. I'm not here to prove or disprove the claim, I'm here to share my experience of using barefoot sandals for the first time. before barefoot sandals, I was using this. This is a charcoal sandal, full of support on the arc, it's very thick and it's very heavy. This is what I'm used to and now I'm using the Zero Aqua Cloud sandals. The Zero Aqua Cloud barefoot sandals has a 6.5 millimeters sole. You also are able to fasten it for on five points on the sandal itself. One on the left, one on the right, two at the back, and one in the middle. When you first start wearing the barefoot sandal, you definitely have to adjust to a snug fit. After one to two weeks of use, the cords and the connections will loosen up a little bit and you have to readjust to get a proper fit again. And after that, it's pretty much the same throughout. I have been using these barefoot sandals for just over a month. And before that, I have not heard of barefoot sandals at all. The only reason I got a barefoot sandal was because I entered an outdoor store, I was looking for a jacket for my trip. The first thing I noticed was how thin it was and how light it was. It is actually worth for me to get for a backpacking trip. And it might actually be uh, one of the best backpacking sandals you could ever get considering the weight and the amount of space it actually takes. So let me share with you my first impressions of switching from a normal sandal to a barefoot sandal. I have really wide feet. My feet is considered very wide. It's about four and a half inch across. So the first thing I noticed when switching from my charcoal sandals to a barefoot sandal is actually the amount of freedom I have on my feet. My feet actually rest nicely on the sole of the sandals and I do not feel any compression on the sides and it's very comfortable. So if you have wide feet, it is definitely something you want to consider. I have been using barefoot sandals to walk around my neighborhood, going to the store, going to the shopping mall, uh, walking in the road, walking on the grass, nothing too extreme. So what I noticed right away when I was switching over to barefoot sandals is the lack of shock absorption. Because the heel is so thin, you actually do not get any shock absorbed and you can feel the shock going up from your heel up through your legs. Okay, I have not brought it up for running, but I feel you kind of need to gradually get used to the amount of shock you get through your heels. When you walk around with barefoot sandals, even walking from your home to a store, any distance with barefoot sandals feels like exercising. I am not kidding you. Due to the lack of support on the arc, the lack of support on the heels, and the lack of support in general, um, the amount of muscle strain and amount of muscle activated when you walk is just unprecedented. You suddenly you feel your whole leg gets tired, your calf gets tired just from walking on barefoot sandals and any normal sort of walking that you would take for granted getting from point A to point B will feel like an exercise. It is quite strenuous and really takes getting used to. So before I switch over to barefoot sandals, I have a habit of walking on the outer side of my step. So I tend to walk on this side and putting my, my weight distribution will be on the outer side of my foot. On the right side will be on the outer side of the foot. So that's my weight distribution normally when I walk wearing normal shoes and normal sandals. But what I realized when I switch over to barefoot sandals, I don't know if it's just for me or it applies for everyone else. But once I switch over to a barefoot sandal like this one, I realized my weight distribution focuses more on the inner side. Towards the toe, and the ball of the toe over here. So as I've been using it for the past one month, I actually strengthened quite a bit on my toe and my weight distribution towards the center. And because I do a bit of uh, sport climbing, like bouldering, it actually helps with strengthening my feet and my toe and having a bit more 
power on my toe. Do I like the barefoot sandals? Yes, I actually really like it surprisingly. Like it is tiring to wear, it is tiring to walk with it, but I just like the simplicity and the minimalism of it. And I like that it's very packable for my travel and it's very light. So it's the barefoot sandal for you. It depends. If you like comfortable shoes, don't get barefoot sandals. If you want to strengthen your feet and strengthen the muscles around your feet and adjust the way you walk, get barefoot sandals. If you want something different, something unique, go both have barefoot sandals. If you want something light, something that doesn't take up space for your traveling or putting in your bag when you're going camping, get barefoot sandals. So personally, I think barefoot sandals is not for everyone. If you're looking for a change, it's definitely worth looking into. If you have any questions regarding barefoot sandals or this particular model, the Zero Aqua Cloud sandals, leave me a comment. I'll respond as soon as I can. Otherwise, till next time.